Hey everyone and welcome back to day three. This is Rebecca and we are doing in 2020 a personal daily creative practice. That's what I'm trying to do here is just develop one for myself and hopefully give you the incentive to develop one for yourself. Um, it's been a fun few days. I'm working out some kinks with the video, but I hope y'all are going to hang in there with me and let's see what we can get into today. I want to talk a little bit about markers. They're one of my favorite tools and they're fairly inexpensive. You can use any kind. You can use, you can rob the, your kids or grandkids basket and dig out something like a Crayola one. You can use Sharpies. You can use, I kind of like these brush marker ones. This is my very favorite one and it is a Tombow. And I like this. It's water-based, so um, it actually, I can put some water to it, some wet on it, and make it run. And I like that. The Sharpie would never do that. It was It's permanent when you place it, but this is water-based. So I like that I can make marks with this, but I can also move them around on the surface if I like. So we're going to start back up where we left yesterday on these little index cards that I did um, on my faux jelly printing process with. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you were able to make some or you will make some in the future. And what I'm going to do right now is just start making some marks on them. That's really what it's all about. It's, it's not about making the perfect artwork. It's not about doing anything that we're going to sell, although some of these things probably could sell and probably would sell if you have that in mind. But what we are doing is just getting ourselves into a new habit. And the habit again, is what is the hard part, is developing this habit. It's not, the hard part is not making marks or making color on pieces of paper or surfaces or books. The hard part is actually just getting into your studio or your creative space and starting to create. So that's what I'm doing. That's why I promised I'm going to do this every day this year. Hopefully, <laughs> I won't back out on that. I don't intend to. But anyway, let's enough of me yakking. So let's just take this and I'm going to use the fine point. This is a double-sided marker. I think this marker resale, retails for around two, maybe three dollars. It's got a brush tip and a fine tip. And um, you can find them in most art stores and, of course, online. But um, anyway, I like, I like the way it handles, and I'll show you how to make some fun marks with it with some water after I do it on the paper. So what I'm going to do is just come down here to my card, and I'm just going to start making some marks. I'm not going to worry about what they are or where they are or if they mean anything. I'm just going to make a few marks. So there is a few marks <laughs> with my, uh, with the fine edge side. And let me show you what the magic happens with this marker. I've added some water to it and you can see it actually moves. It moves on the page when you add water to it. So what I really like about this is it's great for drawing. Um, if you're drawing faces or flowers or something like that, it's really good to do some shading with. But I just, I love what it does. And you can pick some of it up on your brush and move it around. But isn't that pretty cool? I think so. Let's do another one. Let's do it this time with the brush end. And let me show you how that's a little bit different. Let me turn it the card this way this time. This is the one that had the fingerprints on it yesterday. And I kind of like that side better. So it's got some areas here that I can actually um, play with and accentuate. So I'm just going to take this and come in here and... 
get funky. It kind of looks like a hand. That's okay. Happy accidents happen all the time. So let me show you what the water does to this. We get a lot more going there, don't we? And that's kind of fun. Always keep a paper towel or something close so you can blot things. So I can blot some of that away and get some of the darkness off if I don't like it. I can come back with my fine point side and draw some or even write some words. So that is fun, isn't it? I love that. So I'm not going to mess up those words on this one because I kind of like that. But I did promise you that I would go in here and show you some things in the book that I am planning on altering this month. Isn't this fun? I hope you've picked a book. Um, this isn't a very precious book, although this may be one of your favorite authors. But I'm going to show you some things that you can do with markers in a book. And it's... I think it's called Word Poems. Uh, I believe that's what most people that do this um, in their books call it. And you just take your marker and you come in here real quickly. You don't dwell on this or over dwell about it. And you just come down here and start marking out some things. And do it Do it fairly quickly. Funny, I can't read and talk and tell you what I'm doing at the same time. So I'm just going to let you watch me. Okay, so I'm not going to do the whole page. I'm just going to maybe do one more paragraph. Okay. So that's good enough for that. That's gonna, that can take all day, evidently, um, for me to do that. And, of course, we can come in here with our water and move some of that around. That's why I like that Tombow. But you can also do it with your permanent markers. Don't you like the way that happens? I love that. And, of course, I can come back later and do other things on this page, too. It does not have to stay like that. I could actually tear this page out and use it somewhere else. Uh, I might cut out some of the words on a page. There's all kinds of things you can do, but today we're concentrating on our marker and what we can do with a marker. So, you know, we can also come in here and do this. We can take this and fold it. And I love to tear things. We'll do that on another day, but I could fold that and make a little pocket on this page. This is getting kind of fun, isn't it? I love altering books. And so tomorrow, I think I am going to show you how to actually work on a page with gesso. I think that's an, another good beginner part of doing the book, is how to prime your pages for that. 
But I think for today, I'm just going to scoot out of here. I didn't set my timer, so I don't know how long I've been yakking here. But just pick up a marker. I know you've got one somewhere around your house. Pick up a marker. Get into your book. Pick out some phrases or words that you like. Go ahead. If you made your cards, go ahead and make some marks on them and see what you can do with that if that's pleasing to you. I really do like the contrast of the black against um, a nice colored background. And even if it's dark colors, it doesn't have to be these pastel and light colors I created with watercolors. Even if you do it with some darker colors, these black lines look really good on there. So I hope you're enjoying meeting me every day in the studio. I certainly am enjoying being here with you and helping you and me develop a personal daily creative practice because that's what it's all about for us us people who want to be artful and want to connect on a different level with our interior selves. That's really what it's all about. It's about the process. It's not about the end result. So I love you all to pieces. I thank you for putting up with me and putting up with even my sideways live video yesterday. I think I've got that all straightened out, but for now, I will see you back on day four. This is Rebecca. May joy be with you all.